Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! What has amazing colors was just discovered and is named after one of the greatest authors of all time? The Rio Negro Stream Tree Frog. This frog was named after J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Today's adventure takes us far away to a beautiful freshwater stream with tall grass and trees all around deep in the Ecuadorian Andes. This very special place is home of the Rio Negro stream tree frog named Beto. Beto was a small frog with big eyes and sticky toes that allowed him to climb trees and catch insects for his meals. He had a grayish green back with yellow spots and black specks. His eyes were the coolest around with pink and black and yellow all mixed together. Wow, I've never seen eyes those colors before pink, black, and yellow. Wow. He was a super adventurous frog and loved to explore the world all around him. He liked to climb trees, hopping from branch to branch, or through the tall grass, fresh water, and even visited the neighboring trees. Huh, odds are you've never heard of a frog quite like Beto. He lives in one special place, the Rio Negro Sopladora National Park. If that's not cool enough, the Rio Negro stream tree frog is a newly discovered species never before documented or named, like I said at the beginning of the story. Beto, slow down. Stop to smell the roses a bit. All the other critters would say to him, he definitely wasn't the type of frog who liked to sit still. And a regular old day wasn't really his idea of a good time. One morning, as Beto was exploring the lower branches of his favorite tree, he got into a little conversation with his friend Gil, the Gallowasp's lizard. Gil, I just don't like staying in one place. The forest is so big and I don't want to miss a thing. Same old, same old. It's just, well, plain old boring. Beto went on and on as Gil just listened. Gil was older and wiser than Beto, and he was a really good listener. His shiny, scaly self had seen a lot more than Beto through the years. As much as he wanted to warn Beto of all the hard and scary parts of the forest, he didn't want to squash his joy and excitement. Just be careful out there, son, Gil said when Beto finally sat quiet for a second. Oh, I will, I will, Gil, Beto said. Just as Beto started hopping away, he heard a sound coming from the river below. It was a deep rumble that shook the trees. Uh, Curiosity got the best of him, and he decided to investigate. This is so exciting, I bet it's something amazing down there. As he hopped closer to the water, he saw a massive black shadow lurking under the water surface. It glided back and forth until it peeked out from the water. It's a monster! (sighs) What Beto was really seeing was a very large, very scary black caiman. And it had its eyes fixed right on him. Beto's heart raced as he tried to hop away, but he was too slow. The caiman was getting closer and closer, and Beto knew he was in grave danger. He let out a high-pitched scream, hoping that someone would hear him. Help! Help! 
Somebody help me! Beto cried. As Beto continued calling for help, he knew that he had to act fast if he wanted to survive. If I could just hop to that fallen log over there, I, I could get up the trees! Then with all his might, he hopped over the log. Beto landed on it and immediately let out a yell. Oh, my leg! In Beto's attempt to jump, he landed a bit too rough and hurt his leg. He tried to keep hopping away, but the pain in his injured leg slowed him down. <sighs> my leg is... Oh, no. This is bad. This is really bad. He looked down at big scratches on his smooth, froggy skin. The caiman wasn't giving up, and Beto could see him inching closer and closer to his log. It was preparing to lunge right at him. Oh dear! When suddenly Beto felt something sticky grab onto his back. Beto was so shaken up that he cried out as whatever grabbed him had flung him up into the trees above. Holy smokes! Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. He just got snatched right off the log? Oh man, was Beto snatched up by another predator? Or was it someone trying to save him? Even so, how will he even make it to safety with his injured leg? I am not sure, friends. We are going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. It's time for some Critter Protector shoutouts. I want to say hey to Arlo from New York, Christian from Ohio, Griffin and Oliver from Indiana, Lex from Florida, Paris from South Carolina, and Talia from Pennsylvania. I'm so glad that you're all Critter Protectors. We could not protect all the critters in the world and in our backyards without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye!